Hey everyone, I'm Jerry James Stone and I'm super excited about today's video because we're gonna do some great, amazing pancake art. Well, not me, her. But anyway, it's gonna be super cool because we're drawing Obama. I'm a huge Obama fan, I like Obama. Obama follows me on Twitter, which I feel very blessed. Yep, I know, right? He follows me on Twitter. I'm a big Obama fan. If I could have voted, if I could have voted for him for a third time, I would have done it. Um, anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Have you drawn Obama before? Another first. Another first. Yeah, and I really think it's crazy because I've gotten a Trump pancake, but I haven't gotten an Obama pancake. I'm hurt, guys. You come to the conventions, don't ask me for a Trump pancake, only ask me for an Obama one, please. Yeah. Please. It's a hope cake. <laughs> You know, I remember being at home when he was actually elected. I remember the, everything that oh, I was yeah. doing. Yeah, it's such yeah. a vivid memory, right? I was uh, I was living in San Francisco at the time, and the city was just like blowing up. I mean, it was oh, literally blowing up. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I promise. I mean, it was like honking, screaming. Like people were just in the streets. I mean, it was you know, um, it was an epic day. It was definitely a good form of some chaos for sure. Yeah. Back when, you know, presidents didn't suck. And then here we are now. Yeah, here we are. It's a little different whenever I'm doing like these colors. These ones are the ones that usually like hold me up the most is whenever I do like different shades instead yeah. of like actual, you know, shapes. Yeah. But I'm sure this one's gonna be a good one too. So one of the coolest things that I've ever got to do as a food blogger is I actually got to go to the White House what? when Obama was in office. What? So uh, Michelle Obama has this um, kind of like her like State of the Union, not State of the Union, uh, it's a dinner thing, but it's like for kids. So like there's, it's for like the, a kid from each state uh, gets picked. They submit these like healthy recipes and then she brings all of them to the White House and then they have like a meal. And we, I got to go there for that. And, um, you know, they do like a tour of the garden. And wow, she spoke, that's and so he cool. Came out and, spoke. and I was like, oh my God, I'm like 50 feet from the Obamas in the White House, you know? No it was way. a total trip. Um, and I remember I was just like, you know, uh, yeah, it was one of the coolest, coolest things I ever got to do. And I'm just really happy based on the current climate of our, poli our politics that, uh, you know, <laughs> I got to go there when someone horrible was not. <laughs> so you're saying you wouldn't go back? Um, for the current administration, no, I definitely would not. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't waste my time either. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't take I would a trip. I would go back if it was someone cool again. You know, someone who was like all for like democracy and the truth and not a total asshole. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> That's what but, we're missing. Yeah, exactly. So for those things, I would totally go back. I'm all for the Obama thing, but um, but it just was like you know this great. Inter I believe food is political. I believe there's you know it's like one of the things we have to do every single day. You have to eat. And, oh yeah. You know it's how we grow our food, how we treat our water, how we treat our workers, everything about it. It intersects with everything that we do in life, and so it was just this like culmination of everything that I love: politics and food and. Wow. You know, it, was, it was really cool. What an experience. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll throw in some photos for this video so you guys can see them. Seriously, yeah, really cool. yeah, that would be awesome. But yeah, it was like I got to check out the White House Beehive and like tour the garden and you know, hang out in the South cool. Lawn. Yeah. And, yeah, it was trippy. So they just invited you out there? Did they They had, um, well, they just brought in a bunch of like uh, press and influencer type people. And the way that I got there was um, I was actually uh, doing something with the food people over at Pinterest at the oh, time wow. and they were like hey you know we have like three spots for people that want to go and that that were given to us and we want to send actual like food people who use Pinterest versus just sending like employees gotcha so, sorry Pinterest employees that you didn't get to go but <laughs> I sorry. got to go <laughs> <laughs> and so um so yeah, so they just offered up like uh, the spots and I was able to snag one. That's um, awesome. And yeah, it was totally cool. What a story. <laughs>
I got to go into like the press room where they deliver the, like that, you know, you know where like Sarah Sanders now delivers all those yeah, lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All and, those you know, lies. All those lies. Um, you got to hang out there before the lies were delivered. Yeah, yeah. At least the bounty full of lies. Yeah. You know. yeah. So same thing, we're gonna go ahead and red, white, and blue this guy. Let's do it. America, him up. For oh, real. Now this backside looks a little weird. It looks like Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, it really does. That's actually a good reference. It totally looks like a Phantom of the Opera pancake right now. How to go from Phantom of the Opera to Obama. Just watch the flip. It's yeah. really magic. Actually, it's a whole magic trick. I'm going to get you guys a whole new pancake. <laughs> it's actually this really elaborate magic trick that I've been practicing for two years. I'm not making pancake art. Oh, he is cooking nice. This is cool. You know, I hope he comes out good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's other versions of him that I had picked out, but I always like to try to do the harder ones just yeah. because it's like, you know, it's the first time. He's cooking. He's cooking, yeah. So we're just gonna get the edges up. Nice and easy too, look at that. He's yeah. giving me no problems. Yep, yeah. unlike Trump. This he gave pancake. Us lots of trouble. Yeah, <laughs> his this. His mouth was sticky. <laughs> like, you, you know. He runs it too much. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> many, many problems, but not with you, Barack. Not with you, Obama. We love you. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Please come back. Oh, nice. He looks like he's ready. All right, you guys ready to count me down yeah, again? Let's do it. All right, let's get a three, three two, two, one. one. Nice. Obama. Very well done. Okay, so isn't she great? Okay, seriously, first off, if you love pancake art, especially if you love this pancake art, follow Jasmine. It's at Get Caked LA. Head over on Twitter, you can check her out. She has amazing pancakes, other than just this Obama one, which we also love. I wanna know, if you like this pancake, one, what flavor would you make it? What flavor is Obama, right? Like, I don't know. You tell me, if there's something that you wanna see, hey, drop a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If it's your first time watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.